right, so I was asked to show my method of the way I've decided to weight paint my particular armors on this particular, well, when it comes to any one of my sets. So the first thing I like to do is I like to divide up all the different pieces of the armor into different sections and make them their own mesh within it because I know how it would mostly start off like this and then I would just like I would match them up to the particular mesh itself when it comes to the bone structure so first I'm going to hide all these in particular parts and then I'm going to start over with this particular armor I just do a very quick tutorial on say I'm most likely going to do like say the feet right here just start weight painting the feet just to make a quick example of such so first I would duplicate the mesh and then I'm going to well actually no I don't duplicate it just yet I'm going to pair it to the actual the skeleton itself so I believe I would click on the skeleton and then click on the mesh I believe it's control P now that I pressed all control P and hmm, maybe it's the mesh and then the skeleton as you can see I have to learn it myself oh yeah okay so it most people go with automatic weights I try to go with none at all because sometimes it wouldn't mess it up so now that I have that you can look at the weight paint itself click on all the bones as you can see there's nothing on any of them at all because I chose to make no weight paint on them at all so next I would divide the different parts up so let's uh, duplicate the armor and then I would as you can see this little line I don't know if you can see it but this just shows the fact that it's already grouped to the or it's paired to the the structure it's just not rigged so next I'm going to straight up delete everything except the part that I'm going to weigh paint so I will make my way to say the feet down here and I'll drop that and let's see there's another part in here drop that not that part that If it would click on it, hmm. as you can see, sometimes it takes a little bit of dealing with. There we go. Let's just delete. Delete the vertices. Delete the pants. Let's take this off. And delete this part right here. Now all you have is the shoes. And it's still paired to the mesh. The same here whenever I would divide the different parts up. Next you would click on the skeleton. Then the mesh itself. And I'm going to choose the bone to compare it with. Make sure it's the right bone. So go back to object mode. 
make sure it's the right bone the mesh itself should already be paired so whenever I move it same thing with the feet say I move the feet see that's the wrong bone I would have picked on the wrong bone all right so that's the one whenever the foot moves the shoe should move so I should be reminded that it should be that bone go to weight paint make sure the right bone is clicked on and let's go to add and I'll divide them up just so I can do this okay the brush is not strong enough let's put the strength all the way up just make it all the way red I like using this particular tool right here that's why I divide them up because it just takes care of everything so next once that has already been done I'm gonna go straight to the bone go to pull and there you go now of course I'm gonna need to edit it just a little bit because you see that part right there is you can still see the foots being shown but for the most part it's doing its job whenever the foot moves the shoe moves yep and that's all I do I do that for the rest of the whole entire thing so there you go